now it's on to Detroit. So much for the Yankees. Tiger Stadium, home team, got out of the box in a hurry. Low to the bases against starter Dickie Knowles, the 10th guy the Orioles have tried to plug into the rotation this season. And Knowles tried an inside fastball that Tom Brookins got around on, and bang, Tigers led 5-0. Baltimore was reeling. And the difference between a last place team and the contending Tigers is execution. Here, for example, Alan Trammell gets the lead runner, the way you're supposed to do it. Later, when Detroit's Pat Sheridan bounced one to Baltimore's Billy Ripken, Eddie Murray didn't cover, Knowles was late, and fundamentally the Orioles were out to lunch. And a frustrated Frank Robinson was soon out of the game, ejected for mimicking an umpire. Too bad he didn't mimic his old playing self and hit cleanup. On to Toronto. The Indians in town trying to make up ground on the Yankees. Top of the fifth, Ron Kittle at the plate. He had already homered. And here, another one off Toronto starter, Todd Sottlemyer. His two homers take the Indians and Tom Candiotti to a 2-0 lead. But Candiotti clinging to a one-run lead in the eighth. Face George Bell with a tying run on third. Base is loaded. Bell, or not the bases aren't loaded at this point. He bloops one. Can they get it? No, it drops in for a double. Lloyd Mosby scoots home, and now the game's tied. Now the bases are loaded, still in the eighth inning. Doc Edwards looking on. Candiotti faces Ernie Witt. He hits a rope to right. Corey Snyder, nice move, but his momentum is taking him hopelessly out of the play. And he tries to throw home and does on a couple of bounces. And Bell, who was halfway down the line, almost boxed box this, got back and tagged up. And that was the difference to win it as Cleveland remains three games behind and now in third place behind the Yankees in the East. Terry? Well, now to the AL West, where the defending World Series champion Twins continue to be a big hit at the Metrodome. Despite trailing the A's by some seven games in the West, the Twins fans have poured out in force. The club has already topped the million mark in attendance for the year. And this evening, it was game two of their three games set against the White Sox. Chicago taking the opener last night. So let's go to the Homer Dome. And let's look at the place, live up to its nickname. Dan Gladden leading off the bottom of the first as he takes it deep to left off. Dave LaPointe. It is 1-0 Twins. Gladden connects for his fifth round tripper of the season. In the bottom of the fifth, two men on. Greg Gagne. He lost one. Dan Pasqua gives it a try. It's off the top of the plexiglass. Lombo scores. Dan Gladden scores. Twins have got a 3-0 lead. And they don't look back because Burt Blylevin in command didn't go the full way. But, yo, Ozzy Gijon spins himself into the dirt as... Minnesota comes on and takes Chicago. And over 25,000 were in Riverfront to see the Reds take a 3-1 lead, load the bases in the fifth off Houston starter Danny Darwin, who then went from hot water on the mound to a jower when Cincinnati's Nick Asaski crushed one. In sole possession of the lead, Tommy Lasorda getting a little back rub. Bottom of the first, no score. Watch Kirk Gibson go get it in Atlanta. And it's still scoreless. Top of the third, Dodgers put a man on for John Shelby. Boy, look at how he went with the pitch, a low fastball, and cracked it out. In the Cubs, at Wrigley Field, the wind blowing fiercely on flag day, top of the second, and with scoreless, Darnell Cole's hit. This one makes it one zip pirate. Bucks bomb Moyer again in the fourth. Bobby Bonilla smacks his 15th, nobody on, and the Pirates hold a 2 nothing lead. Several batters later, Randy Milligan. Door on home run to left center. Bottom of the fifth now. The Cubs come back. Jody Davis taps a three-run inning with a single to center. Driving in Andre Dawson. 4-3 now. Bottom of the ninth. Two outs, two on. Pinch hitter Rick Sutcliffe grounds out to end the game. It was in a doubleheader today in Philly. Game one. It was a hot night at Veterans Stadium. Margaret Thatcher lookalike watching. And the Expos were hot. First inning. Bruce Ruffin versus Tim Wallach. Wallach. It's a booming shot to left. It's a two-run homer, and it's 3 nothing Montreal. But Dennis Martinez was a star of this one, contributing to his cause. With this single to right, Luis Rivera and Will Tejada score as Lance Paris can't control Chris James, throw it six-zip expos. Martinez, the pitcher, had a no-hitter through five and retired 13 straight at one point, one Samuel there. But the no-hitter suspense ended in the top of the sixth with this Steve Delp single to right field. That would be one of only three Philly hits, however. Martinez strikes out the stop with Chris James. Martinez Get solo blast, one nothing Pittsburgh. In the fourth, Bobby Bonilla gives one a ride, his 15th. That ties a career best, Berg. And yeah, let's get some more. How about uh, Randy Milligan? Give us, I like this so much, I'm going to get me another one. He sends this one flying out, but this time Dave Martinez comes down with it. So that one doesn't make it out. Bonilla doesn't get two, but guess what? Darnell Cole's 
will get the pair on the afternoon. They made it five to one, but Atlanta coming back bit by bit. And here on the eighth now, Jay Hell against Dale Murphy with two outs. Murphy takes it down to right center field. Albert Hall will come in and a 5-4 Dodger lead, but Hall was able to knuckle down. Top of the fourth now, we are tied at two. Jay Buhner, what a job he has done, and uh, this one needs a ticket for the Mass Pike because it's out of here. Three, two, but Boston had the offense here on the fifth. Wade Boggs takes this one. Not quite out, but not quite caught. Off the monster. Marty Barrett comes around third. The throw comes to the uh, cutoff man, Mattingly, and safe at the plate, three and three. And then Ellis Burks here on the sixth inning rips one to dead center field again over the head of Buhner. And in amongst the paying patrons, that made it 4-3. Burks had a couple of RBIs on the night. Stin wins it 7-3. Boggs went 3-4. for four. Mike Greenwell went 4-5. Four for five. Mike Smithson picks up the victory, but again, Manningly back. That's the big news tonight for the Yankees. Second place, Detroit hosting the O's, who played well against the Tigers this year. Dickie Knowles, first start this year for the O's. No score in the second. Matt Noakes lines it to left. That delivers Allen Travel. Detroit up one to nothing. Then the Tigers loaded the bases for the number nine hitter, Tom Brookins. The count is one and zero. Oh. There it goes. A second career grand salami, and the Tigers take a five to nothing lead. Orioles, one of the few teams that have done it to the Tigers this year. They had the lead in the season advantage coming in, and there goes Frank Robinson. Look at Eddie Murray getting a kick out of the skipper, having been ejected for. Mimicking an umpire between innings here in the eighth inning. Brookins with a single off of Mark Williamson. The number nine hitter, Tom Brookins, went four for four tonight. He had six RBIs as the Tigers post a nine to three victory. Tigers moved to within two games once again of the Yankees.